Well, the MAGA hats, guys, the Make America Great Again hats are becoming the most feared symbol in all of America amongst liberals, amongst the Democrats, amongst the psychos out there who are so triggered by that hat. It has unfortunately led to more violence. This time, a black immigrant in Germantown, Maryland. Before I jump into all that, though, guys, if you don't mind giving this video a like, also sharing this video with your friends and family, that always helps me out a great deal. And if you guys are new, just checking me out for the first time, please click that subscribe button, browse through, and check out some of the other great video content we have for you right here each and every single day. So guys, this legal immigrant, and I can't stress that enough, legal immigrant from West Africa. He is from Togo. He was out walking around his neighborhood on Saturday night, and he was wearing his Make America Great Again hat, that red hat, guys, where all of a sudden he was approached by two men who asked him why he was wearing that hat. Why? How, how dare you wear that MAGA hat? And he told the two men that he has the right to his views just like anybody else does. He kept walking. He kept moving on his way. The guys caught up to him. They began to still interrogate him about why he was wearing the hat. And before you know it, one of them punched the man in the face and another one punched him in the upper body before they finally knocked him to the ground. They kicked him. They beat on him for a little while longer. They ended up robbing him while he was down. So not only do they hate Trump, but they're also, they're also a bunch of thieves. Okay, They also attempted to steal his phone, but he was able to somehow... Hold on to that. And they also took the hat with them as well. So these cowards beat this guy in the street. This is a legal immigrant from West Africa supporting President Trump. I'm sure that just really triggered these guys. I'm sure they absolutely hated that. Well, thankfully, thankfully, these two men were arrested. And I'm very glad they did not get away with this because that would have been, that would have just been horrible. For, for these thugs to get away with something like this, what would truly be uh, an injustice. So they're being charged on all different counts. They're being a charge on robbery, attempted robbery, second degree assault. And if convicted for all of these things, they could face up to 10 years in prison. And I hope, I hope they get the full amount. They both deserve it. They should be locked away for even longer than that. But you know what? The one thing that the man said, the one thing that the Trump supporter had to say, even after he was beaten, he says, you know what? I still forgive them for what they did to me because the Bible teaches us Jesus teaches us to forgive, and Jesus teaches us to love our enemies, no matter what they do to us. He says that in the future, he hopes that they can become more tolerant of conservatives' views, and that Democrats in general can become more tolerant of conservatives' views. And he did say that he will continue to wear the hat. He'll get another hat. He's not going to let this prevent him from doing it. He's not going to live in fear. He's not going to do that, which is good. Good on him. He shouldn't have to live in fear. Nobody should have to live in fear for any sort of a political affiliation that they have, whether it's for President Trump or whether it's for somebody else. We have the freedom of expression. We have the freedom of speech, and we should be able to exercise those freedoms without fear of being of having violence enacted upon us. It's an absolute disgrace that something like this would happen. Guys, be in prayer because Christians, conservatives, Trump supporters, we're all under attack right now. We're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. As always, guys, I would love to hear from you. Your thoughts, comments down below. What do you think about the latest mega hat attack? Sound off down below, guys. Thank you again so much for all of your support, for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.